Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 11.30, December 30th, New Year's Eve, Eve, Monday, 34, 35 degrees. My batteries are not charged because it's like a nasty overcast day outside. I don't know, for my international friends. Looks like two degrees centigrade. There we are. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys everything I know about Chinese CDI units. Are you ready? I'm done. I'm kidding, just kidding. All right, quickly. These bikes here come with two kinds of CDI units. And this is the CDI unit on this guy. They come with a round plug, which looks a lot like this. That's what would go into it. And they come with the square plug, which looks like this. This is a cheap China 895 eBay CDI unit that, um, that actually works on those, those bikes. Plugs right into the square version. And if you want to put it into the round version, you have to wire it out yourself. But plugs plug and play. Why does this work? See how small the box is compared to the other guys? The small, small box means there is no advance built in. There's no electronic advance. We went through it. These guys have the advance up in here. So you don't need to build in an electronic advance. As a matter of fact, you don't want to build in an electronic advance. Before I learned that, um, I ordered a few different kind of CDIs. These are the really nice cheap ones. Once again, no advance. AC powered, which means they're energized by a stator. And do I still have the stator? By a stator. That's an example of a stator. For these guys, the stator actually looks like this and it's actually that coil. So, on the big ones, this is a 200 red. It actually just uses a couple of these coils. These, these two big guys, as a matter of fact, that winding and that winding, those two windings. So, there you go. This, once again, cheap, no advance, AC powered, and it works on those. There is some documentation on the web about that and so forth. To buy a new old stock um, CDI unit for these guys, uh, not cheap. A lot of people are asking around 50, even a used one, you're not sure if it works. Typically $29.95. Much rather buy a couple of these for nine bucks each and uh, and have them available. I bought a couple at the same time. This is also AC powered. Um, I don't know if anybody could read that. I can't for two reasons. Well, I could see it, but I can't read it. Anyhow, this is AC powered, but it has an advance built into it. Okay. AC powered. This actually goes on the China China Quad. You guys, I went through a bunch of troubleshooting on this. This is AC powered, advance built into it. You can see they're kind of a little square and stocky. This just arrived. I finally got this. It's delivered to my neighbor house, neighbor's house. Yes, my mailman is a piece of work. Um, had this kind of tracking on it. But it also had this California address. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it says it came by airmail, but it's got a California address and a Pitney Bowes U.S. postage paid. So, I don't know if these all come in. 
like they get like 20 of these in one at a time from China and then just put a new tracking label on it and mail them or what the story is. Anyhow, this unit, and notice the difference in the size once again. I mean, it is huge. This is DC powered and has an advanced built in. I can't seem to find a DC powered one without an advance. So, the bunch of Chinese units. Um, I guess now I have to ask the group a question. Some four stroke engines have no advance, especially if they don't wind up too much. I mean, most, most of those guys, I mean, 3600 RPM, the Kohler 3600, most Briggs 3600, 3800, some people keep them down closer to 3000, right? So four strokes, especially um, lawnmower type engines, go-kart engines, mini bike engines, they don't wind up all that much unless, uh, unless you, you know, you doll them up so they can. I mean, you could bypass the governor and run them up to 4,000 RPM and do that for a while, but eventually you'll hear a clang and a bang and you'll throw a rod and then you're screwed. If you're only partially screwed, you throw the rod and you can put a new one in. If you're really screwed, you throw a rod, take out the case, take out the valve chain, you know, screw everything up. So, there's the discussion. Most typical go-kart, Briggs and Stratton, 3 horsepower, 3 to 5 horsepower, even that 13 there. I don't think, uh, well, I, I know the 3 to 5s and the Briggs and the Tecumsehs, like uh, you Dizzy plays play with, those do not have any kind of advance. The timing does not advance. At 3600, they don't advance. I know... That guy has mechanical advance, and I know typically these three wheelers, the newer ones, the 85s, the 86s, they actually, um, with the horizontal motor, actually have uh, an electronic advance. They use the bigger boxes. I also know, because I went through this trouble, that if you take an engine that doesn't need an advance, and you put in one of these that isn't electronically advanced, the engine doesn't start. It won't start. It just doesn't run. The advance is probably too, out fo too far out forward. I bought this guy, this DC, and I got my copper for cooling and grounding, and I got the matching coil, and I got the wire out for it. And I got all these type of guys. And I am curious to if I do hack it on to this engine. I think at an idle there's virtually no advance, so it should fire up. I think. Don't know. I think as I give it fuel and it crosses 1,000, 1,500 RPM, you're going to have two advances working. The mechanical advance and the electronic advance. I think at some point it's going to advance it so far out front that once again it won't run. What I'm going to do first is put this whole thing together and see if I could get it to spark. Once I get it to spark, then I'll hack it on there and see if I could get it to go. For you guys out there who know more about engines than I do, is it possible? Is it possible to, um, or actually forget is it possible? Do most four-stroke engines more or less have the same spark advance curve? I mean, obviously, if the engine's going to wind up to 10,000 because it's really dialed up nicely, um, you need a curve that's going to keep going more and more advanced so that your, your spark is hitting a little bit before top dead center so that um, the, the gas mixture ignites just as you're crossing top dead center and, and comes downward. If you fire too late, you're actually cross top dead center, the piston's already on its way down, then it fires and you don't get as much power out of it. You want to really fire that mixture, the maximum expansion of the fuel gas mixture. Um, you want that to happen just at top set dead center so that the piston comes flying down with the most energy.
anyhow, I'm just curious for a typical st four stroke motors, y you know, does the timing advance, the advanced curve, you know, that curve, does it really matter that much? Is it all that different as you go from one engine to the next? Um, some of you guys who are actually formally trained or actually race cars and all that kind of stuff could probably answer these questions better than I. My, uh, my training has all been, uh, kind of, uh, hands-on. So I, I, and I've never built a race car engine from scratch and, you know, took a cam from a 305 and put it in a 350 or something like that and had to think about things such as advances and all. All right, folks, I'm going to run, live, love, and have a great time. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, remember to keep your tires down, your handlebars up, and we'll see you all soon. Bye now.